We got two 1957s in the booth today. Uh, this Dodge truck we're going to be doing a video on. Um, we've done a ton of work to this. It's uh, kind of was an old farm truck when he when the guy bought it. He had a 440 and basically a Roadrunner uh, drivetrain in it. Um, it did have a different front end with a straight axle. This is actually out of a 91 Dakota. Um, it actually fits pretty decent. It goes right to a factory seam on the Dakota. That's a pretty cool truck, but we'll go into that in the uh, the other video that we're going to do on this truck. So this is this is not this video. Here's the video that we're doing. Uh, this car we've done a lot of work over the years. Just little work here and there. We haven't like gone too much into it, but we got you know some running and drivability stuff worked out. As far as the body goes, uh, the only thing we did was from this chrome down because it was all rotted out there. We had to build some uh, floor pans and build other other fabrication pieces, you know, around this wheel lip and everything. Uh, put all the trim back on. But the main part of this video is we're just going to clean up the interior the best we can. You know, we got a carpet for it. Um, here's some of the floor pieces. In it, we're going to dye all this brown stuff black. Um, headliner is going to stay the way it is. Maybe try to clean it a little. Um, we're going to do all the seats. This, this uh, yellow, we're, we're going to do black there and then just clean up all the white and hopefully make it look pretty sharp in here. You know, this is a pretty easy thing to do. It's a little time consuming. You have to like, uh, you know, take a little extra time on prepping the parts just so it sticks pretty good. But uh, it, should, it should clean up this whole interior besides the steering wheel. The steering wheel is a little rough. We'll probably refinish that next year, I'm assuming, because he wants to get all these factory gauges working. But that's, that's what we're going to make this video on is, is the uh, just cleaning up the interior to make it look a little more attractive. Uh, I'm going to seal the windows so we don't have a, you know, a bath in here, a bird bath. Nobody wants to get in their car and see birds bathing in it, but, well, maybe some people. If you could create one animal, what would it be? I, I, uh, I, I told I what? told Ken this morning on the way to Napa about his eye boogers. He was, he was talking about eye boogers. I'm like, wait till you get to my age, man. You wake up and they're like an acorn oh, size. Yeah. They're stuck in your eye. You just pluck them off, eat them. Tastes like saltines and ketchup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait till you get to be that old, mm -hmm. son. Yep. So you're saying you're that old? Yeah. Every morning. Just it's like a morning snack. You have your breakfast and you wake up all the same time. Come on. Come on. Here. You don't even know if you like it. You need to snip it. Okay. I will. Yeah. So now I like surf and turf.
that on YouTube? There's no bum scratching. No bum scratching. Big nose, camera gate, cab, camera heads, ten pounds. I said he picked his nose. But why are you filming me? You're supposed to film this stuff. Nobody wants to watch me. Well, maybe everybody does want. But in any event, this is what you're supposed to be filming. You're going to waste all my thing on looking at my nose hairs. I think people want to see your nose hairs. They probably do. They're getting gray, so. How you doing, Ken? What is that? A Chevy? Only thing worth working on. It's the only thing you have to work on. You yelling at me is not for the viewing pleasure. I'm not yelling at you. Maybe it is. I don't know the viewer is. Right over these bitch. I got like 10 fish over here. Yeah. It's okay. Fish Friday. Which is it? I don't know. It's a Maybe one that swims? Fair. It's a fish that swims, or a slam at one point. I don't think it seems to swim down. Supposed to be dramatic. Just take them on and I thought it was good. 
You know what's even more weird? I got two guys watching me do it. Can't put one of those sucky fish in this fish tank. Now the fish tank is like gleaming, gleaming. Now the fish has nothing to do though. No. Bored. He's bored now. Yeah. When I like first time I ever noticed, I did not notice how much my goldfish pooped today. I like I was trying to light. I I took the lid off the tank and I just looked down and I had a little poop graveyard. Yep. Yep, now that the tank's clean, though, the other fish just follows the other one around, catches on the way out. Want some more fish? Want to some fish? Oh, I'm trying to do something, David. Is it eating fish? What fish journey? How much fish is that? What? How much fish is that? I don't know you. Um, tilapia? Yeah, it's tilapia. Mm -hmm. Tilapia? Mm -hmm. It's kind of sucky fish. You want some? No. Fish? No, thank you. I've been way too much fish lately. I'm just not feeling it. I've had fish like every night this week. And I don't like fish. Well, I mean, I like that fish, but not every day. Now I'm going to tell you something I heard today. Wait, you want fish? You ain't hungry enough. I had such an abused childhood. Mm -hmm. Life continued. Verbal. No, I already got yelled at because of you. I went over to Louis today. And I was like, mm. talking about something. He was like, be nice to your mother. I said, you've done anything <laughs> lately. Yeah, but you have. I said, I, yeah, I can be a little difficult. Can be? No, you are. I said, dude, I came over here to look for sharks. 